Hello and welcome to Listen and Learn Pharmacology Edition with your fave nurse B. Today we're going to be going over cardiovascular drugs. I will be reviewing some common cardiovascular drugs. I obtained this information from www.heart.org. So definitely reference this website if you want additional information. Let's begin. Anticoagulants action decreases your blood's ability to clot. These drugs are also known as blood thinners, but they do not thin your blood. They simply decrease your blood's ability to clot, which can make your blood seem thinner than it is, but these drugs do not thin your blood. They also do not break any existing clots that you have within your body. Anticoagulants are used, of course, to prevent clots, to stop any existing clots from getting bigger, and also to prevent strokes from occurring. Anticoagulant drugs. Rivaroxaban, Xarelto, Dibigatran, Pradexa, Abixaban, Eliquis, Heparin, and Warfarin, also known as Coumadin. Antiplatelet agents and dual antiplatelet therapy, also known as DAPT. What these drugs do is they prevent platelets from clumping and sticking together, which can cause blood clots. These are used to prevent blood clots, especially in patients who have a history of heart disease, unstable angina or chest pain, and TIA. These also prevent plaque from building up in your arteries. Antiplatelet agents are also given with aspirin as a part of DAP, which is dual antiplatelet therapy. The most common antiplatelet agent is aspirin, clopidogrel, plavix, dipyridamol, prasagril, effiant, ticagrelor, brylenta. Angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE inhibitors. What these drugs do is they expand your blood vessels, which decreases the resistance of your blood vessels, which reduces the amount of work that your heart has to do. ACE inhibitors are used to lower blood pressure or to treat hypertension slash HTN, to treat heart failure and other cardiovascular diseases. Common ACE inhibitors are enalapril, Vasotec, lisinopril, Zestril, Quinapril, Acupril, Ramapril, Altase. Most of these drugs end in the letters P-R-I-L. Angiotensin II receptor blockers or inhibitors, they block angiotensin II from attaching to receptor sites, which stop your BP from elevating. They are also used to treat hypertension, heart failure, and other cardiovascular diseases. Common angiotensin II receptor blockers are Irbisardin, Avapro, Losardin, Cozar, Valsartin, Diovan. Most of these medications end in the letters A-R-T-A-N. Beta blockers. They decrease your heart rate, your cardiac output, and your blood pressure. Beta blockers are used for high blood pressure, angina, or chest pain, patients with a history of heart attacks, to prevent heart attacks, and to treat cardiac arrhythmias. Common beta blockers are atenolol, tenormin, metoprolol or lopressor, and propanolol, endorel. Most beta blockers end in the letters O-L-O-L. Calcium channel blockers. Calcium channel blockers stop calcium ions from entering your heart cells and your blood vessels. This decreases the strength of your heart and relaxes your blood vessels. Calcium channel blockers are used for hypertension, slash high blood pressure, angina or chest pain, and heart arrhythmias, which is also abnormal heart rhythms. Common calcium channel blockers are amlodipine, Norvas, diltiazem, cardizem, philodipine, plendil, and verapamil, calane. Cholesterol lowering agents they work in different ways. Some of them affect your liver, some work on your intestines, and some interrupt the formation of cholesterol within your blood. Cholesterol lowering agents help to lower LDL, which is also considered bad cholesterol. There are different classes of cholesterol lowering agents. Some drugs within the statins are atrovastatin, which is Lipitor, Rosuvastatin, which is Crestar, 
nicotinic acids, lovastatin or Advocor. There's also cholesterol absorption inhibitors, which is Isidamide slash Simvastatin, also known as Vitorin. Digitalis. These drugs increase the force of the heart's contractions. They are used to treat cardiac arrhythmias or irregular heart rhythm and heart failure. Digitalis drug is Lenoxin slash Digoxin. Diuretics or water pills. What they do is they decrease the amount of fluid within your blood. When you decrease the amount of fluid or water within your blood, you're also going to decrease the amount of sodium. This is removed from your blood through your urine. When there is less fluid and sodium circulating throughout your body, your heart has to work less hard. So this reduces the heart's workload and it also removes fluid from your lungs and other extremities. Diuretics are used for hypertension and also for edema slash swelling. Common diuretics are water pills or bumetanide, bumex, chlorothiazide, diuril, ferrosamide, Lasix, hydrochlorothiazide, and spironolactone or aldactone. Vasodilators relax your blood vessels, which allows time for your heart to fill with blood. This reduces your heart's workload. Vasodilators are commonly used to treat angina slash chest pain. Common vasodilators are isorabide, dinitrate, isordil, Neserotide or Natricor, Hydralazine or Apresoline, Nitrates and Minoxidil. Thanks for watching this video on common cardiovascular disease drugs. I hope that you found this video helpful. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for more videos where you can listen and learn with your fave nurse B. Peace.